Hi everyone and welcome to the studio today. So our project today is going to be to make a fake stained glass, faux stained glass. Here's one that I've done in the past. I think it looks kind of cool. And this can be done with things that you actually have around your house. So if you have a picture frame with a glass still in it, this one that we're going to use for our instruction, I've purchased at a hotel warehouse sale for $5. You'll need acrylic paint, black acrylic, and school glue or Elmer's glue all will make up the lead that's in your faux state glass. You'll need a squirt bottle that squirts out pretty accurately. I use a hair dye bottle. As you can see, I don't dye my hair anymore, but I have some bottles. You can also get bottles at the dollar store that will do just the same. For phase two of the project, you're going to need some cups, some clear school glue or clear Elmer's glue. If you're using a craft glue that's not Elmer's, squirt some out and see how it dries first. Make sure it dries clear. And some inks like you would use for your stamp pads, or you can use food coloring if you don't have inks around your house. Um, I also use a Windex kind of thing, a window cleaner, to clean up my frame before I start, as well as the glass. All right, so let's get started. All right, so it looks like this frame is kind of packed in here pretty nicely. So I want to just get rid of the backing out of here. Throw that away. And then this piece will have little staples all the way around it. You need to loosen all those. And let me do that pretty quickly. You'll need to be careful that you do not push that into your glass. So as you can see, I'm pushing it in and then I'm pulling up. So I'm not, not pushing down into my glass. I'm just pushing it under that staple and pulling it up. Really important. I can't tell you how many times I've cracked the glass and had to just get rid of the glass. All right, so as you can see, I've pushed all these aside and it should be relatively simple to get the backing out of here. Now that I've pulled all of my, oh, there we go. So I'm going to save this because I'm going to actually draw my design that I want for my uh, stained glass on here. So I'll draw the design directly on here. And so I'm gonna keep that. Next, I'm going to pull out the mat and the picture, and I actually don't want or don't care about this picture. I might keep the mat because it's kind of cool, although it's a little damaged. So I'm going to set that aside until I decide if I want to hang on to that. And gently, very gently, bring your glass out. Now, sometimes I have discovered that my glass does not want to come out because of the staples. So sometimes I have to actually remove some more staples instead of just bending them back. This piece of glass is going to come out just nicely. See that? All right. So what my goal is next is to get this cleaned up using some type of window cleaner both sides because when I start to work on this I want this to be nice and clean if it's not clean and dry my paint won't stick to it correctly all right so I'm gonna pause our film while we get ready for the next part all right so I've cleaned up my glass and the next thing to do is to decide on your actual design that you want on your glass so I'm actually just going to do something simple I've learned a long time ago that if you don't like what you get, you just scrape it off and paint over it. So I'm going to do some variation of hills. Maybe the sun. And maybe we'll have... Should we have a tree... Let's 
Let's do a barn. Okay, so now I have my drawing on my piece of cardboard that came out of my painting. My glass is clean and laid on the top in the exact spot of this piece of cardboard. I've drawn my picture on it and I've mixed up my glue and my acrylic paint. And what I'd like to do before I get started is I like to test my bottle and make sure it's coming out kind of like that. Like I, if I was going to draw with it, it doesn't have to be perfect, but it does want to flow nicely. Now you're thinking, well, I need to know how much glue and how much acrylic paint to put together. In general, it's one part paint and four parts glue. However, your paint may be thicker because it's sat around or your glue may be thicker because it's sat around. So what you want to do is mix them and try this squirt test to see if it flows out of your bottle, whatever bottle you're using. And that is your test of how thick it should be. If it gets too thick, add a little bit more paint. If it's too thin, add a little more glue. And that depends on if you're using a runny craft glue or a hard body or thicker paint. So your ratios are going to depend on all those things. The squirt test is what you want though. So next, I work from farther away from me toward me because I'm going to be on the glass. And I just go ahead and draw the same drawing that I just did, and it doesn't have to be perfect. This is the part that we want to keep the sun from shining through. It's going to look like our lead. And again, doesn't have to be perfect. This phase will have to dry overnight or a few hours. I'll come back in a few hours and see if it's dry enough to start our video up again. But once this dries, we're going to fill in the gaps with our clear glue and ink mixtures. All right, so... While I'm waiting for my outline on my faux stained glass to dry, I looked at my frame and I decided I did not want to keep with this old gold kind of look. I don't mind it around the edges, but I think on the front, I'm going to change it up a little bit. And so I'm going to take a little bit of my mixture that I used in between the glass, on the glass, and I'm going to take some parchment paper, crinkled it up, and I'm going to use it like a sponge. And I'm just going to make marks on my canvas all over. Nothing fancy. I just want it to kind of look marbled and have the gold, some of the gold show through. Right, 
So I have done my drawing on the back of the cardboard and then I covered the cardboard with my glass from my frame. I outlined the places that I wanted to look like the lead on the leaded glass. I outlined it with the acrylic and Elmer's glue all mix. And now next I'm going to actually use a washable Elmer's clear glue and I'm going to put it in some cups and I'm going to mix it with inks and they're the kind that you would use for stampers but you can use tie-dye inks and I've heard of people using food coloring I don't know how the food coloring would work but this is what I use and I'm gonna go ahead and get started I'm gonna start mixing it up I will speed up the camera a little bit for you and then we'll get started all right so all of these that I'm using today is called posh rainbow inks I have a variety of inks available to me but these are the ones that I'm going to use today for our sky. So let me get some of the, at least four of those colors mixed up. And maybe we'll mix them together if we don't like what we have um, and make a different color. Oh, yes, this is Cranberry Posh Ink. That's nice red. That actually might be good for the barn. I might actually paint the barn first. So that's a nice red. So as I'm getting ready, I usually choose um, a uh, brush that is from some of my old sets. That way I'm not too worried if I um, don't get them in water right away. However, because this is glue, if you get it in water right away, it should come right out of your brushes. So let's try red on the barn. See how that works. Oh yeah, that's going to be great. So just paint it on. Just painting it within. I don't even have to go stay too much in the lines because my black spots. Oh, that's going to be my. That is going to be my roof. So I don't want that to be red. Let me just go wipe off my hands. We do want it to be see-through, so that's why we've got the clear glue going.
so you can see where I've made those little lines made some clouds and if you don't like any pieces of this when you're done you can actually use a little exacto knife and then just peel out that section and then redo it looks kind of dark but we'll see how it dries all right so now we have our finished stained glass everything is dry it's a tiny bit tacky in some spaces but none of the spaces that are around the outside edge that will go in the frame are going to be affected by that so I'm going to grab my frame. Remember we redid the frame and I'm going to go ahead and decide which side is up. I'm going to do the side that has the two things to fasten on it as being up. And we're going to go ahead and put it back in its frame. Just the glass. And once it is all down in there, then you're going to want to push all of these staples back down. And you see I'm trying to cushion it with my stick. That way I'm not breaking my um, glass as I push it down. All right, so we finished the faux stained glass. And this is what it looks like as you look through it just like a stained glass. Something easy you can do at home. I hope you get a chance to try this.